new at 11, Henrico County School Board has decided to give parents an option to send their child back to the classroom. That decision was made during a meeting tonight where many people showed up to express their opinions. During a board meeting set up to meet social distancing guidelines, parents, teachers and students shared how they believe the Henrico School Board should proceed with the school year. So far, classes have been virtual. I really need to go back to school. The lives of children and school employees and many other vulnerable family members are on the line. The data that has been used to close schools are influenced by factors that have absolutely nothing to do with the students themselves. One teacher so passionate. Hi, my name is Brent Halstead. I'm a science teacher with Hermitage High School. Uh, I prefer demonstrations to discussion. He had to be escorted away by security after taking his mask off and eating chips six feet away from school board members. It's heavy and it weighs heavy on each and every one of us. After an hour and a half of public comment, board members adopted a plan that enables a phased expansion of in-person learning. Starting November 30th, elementary students can go back to the classroom. Middle and high schoolers can choose to return in February and families still have the option to continue the school year completely virtual. For those who may choose to send your child back to the building, you are responsible for the choices you make outside of the school building and the choices you make at home to ensure that they are safe not only for your child and your family but for his or her classmates and his or her teacher. Board members say the district will be working closely with Henrico's health department and schools will maintain social distancing guidelines to keep students and staff safe but still not everyone is comfortable with the plan. My primary concern as it was in July um, continues to be the safety and health of our students, families, teachers, staff, and community. We all want to be back in the classroom, there's no doubt, but we are living in the middle of a global pandemic, and that might not be realistic. We'll post the school board's full plan on our website, WTVR.com. George with high